Hello, today I would like to talk about 12 different ways to get the most out of your language exchanges. As an introvert, I used to focus on text and online resources that allowed me to work on my own, but I realized after a while that I wasn't going to get good at speaking my target language without actually speaking. So I finally decided to start taking lessons on italki and connecting with language exchange partners to do language exchanges. So what is a language exchange? A language exchange is where you connect with other language learners who speak your target language and who are learning your native language. So let's say for example, I'm learning Korean. I would want to find a native Korean speaker who is learning English and we would spend an equal amount of time working on both Korean for myself and English for that person. But you can also connect with people who are also learning the same language as you, even if it's not their native language, because sometimes language learners have certain experiences that native speakers don't have, and they can be really useful to you as a language learner. Something that you need to know about language exchanges is that they are only as effective as you make them. So let's talk about 12 different ways that you can make your language exchanges more effective. One, find the right partner. You wanna find someone who shares interests with you so that you actually have something to talk about each time that you meet. You also wanna make sure that your personalities click because ideally you want this to be long-term. So you want to continue speaking with the same person so that your conversations go in new places. Two, share your goals with your language exchange partner. If you want them to correct you whenever you make a mistake, let them know. If you want them to wait until the end to tell you the corrections you need to make, let them know. Don't expect your language exchange partner to guess what you're hoping to get out of the exchange. Three, always prepare for your language exchanges. Even if something completely different ends up happening, it really helps to go in with a few starting conversation topics or questions so that if there ever is a moment in the exchange that things kind of die down or it gets quiet, you have a way to reinitiate the conversation so that the exchange keeps going and so that you always have something to talk about. Four, take notes. Even if it's notes that you take after the exchange is completed or if you take notes while the exchange is happening, make sure that you note anything new that comes up as a part of the exchange or anything that you want to take away from that particular exchange to use for future conversations or exchanges. You can also record your language exchanges, whether that's audio or video, so that you could reference them later and remind yourself the material that was brought up as a part of that exchange. Five, be fair watch the clock. Typically in a language exchange, what you want to do is let's say you have half an hour. So you would spend 15 minutes working on your target language and then 15 minutes working on your partner's target language. So you really want to be fair with that time and make sure that your partner is getting just as much time as you and vice versa. Six, schedule your next exchange with your partner before the conversation ends. That way you know for sure there is going to be another conversation and that you have something to prepare for. If you wait until after the conversation is over and try to reconnect with your partner afterwards, there's a good chance that that second or third or fourth conversation exchange might never happen. Seven, find multiple conversation exchange partners. The reason that you wanna do this is because by talking to multiple people, you'll be exposed to different accents, different ways of speaking, different sets of vocabulary, and different ways of phrasing the same sorts of ideas. By being exposed to these different things, you are not only improving your comprehension of the language, but you're also building your toolbox of phrases and words that you can use when you're using the language that you're learning. Additionally, by speaking to multiple people, you actually get to practice the material you used in a different conversation with someone else again. So it gives you another chance to tackle maybe introducing yourself or talking about your family or talking about what you do for a living. So each time you speak with someone new, you can have that conversation again so you get more practice with that vocabulary and with that grammar. Talking to someone new also presents you with new material that might not have come up in a conversation with just one partner. Eight, don't take disappearance by your conversation exchange partner personally. Especially at the beginning, sometimes things come up or the person suddenly loses motivation to learn the language and they just kind of disappear on you. And that's okay, that happens. Just start the process again of finding a new partner. But if you are doing it right and you had multiple exchange partners, it's not so much of a problem for you. Nine, ask for links to native material, TV shows, music, 
movies and things like that. The people who are going to know about the best content are native speakers. So don't be afraid to ask them for links if you're looking for any of those types of resources. 10. Don't compare your progress. You don't know how much work your language exchange partner is doing outside of the language exchange, so if either you or they are progressing more quickly, don't compare because you don't know what the situation is outside of the exchange. So if your partner is progressing much more quickly than you, don't be discouraged. 11. Be encouraging. Whenever your partner makes mistakes, don't make them feel stupid over it. Find a way to correct them in a way that encourages them. And plus, they might not be getting encouragement in their language learning efforts outside of the exchanges, so you can really make a difference for your language exchange partner by encouraging them and helping motivate them. And 12. Don't think that language exchanges are a complete language learning solution. Like any other kind of resource, language exchanges are just a part of the bigger picture. They're one tool that you should have to help you improve your language speaking and comprehension abilities. You should also complement your exchanges with other types of resources, whatever they may be. So in conclusion, language exchanges can be a really great asset for language learners. There are both text and speaking options. So you can use tools like italki to connect with speakers and then do your language exchanges on Skype or you can do written exchanges with them through italki messages. There's also HelloTalk, which allows you to do audio or text exchanges. There's Tandem, which allows you to do text or video exchanges. So there's a lot of different ways that you could go about meeting with other language learners to practice your target language. And finally, to end the video, I'd like to let you know that I have a free download to help you plan your language exchanges. I've included the link in the box below, so you can just head over to my website yourlinguist.com using that link to get access to that resource. So that's it for today. If you have anything that you found to make your language exchanges more effective, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. So please leave me a note below and thank you so much for watching.